Hello and welcome to another episode of Christine's Coloring Crafts. I'm Christine and this is take two of Castle Arts versus Gassel Castle Arts. Castle Arts. <laughs> I've got jokes today guys. And if you can't, that's only because if you can't laugh, you're going to cry or you're going to get mad. And that's just wasted energy. So, earlier today I had filmed an hour long video comparing Castle Arts Gold to Castle Arts Cow Soft Touch. And the reason being is I wanted to knock over my pencils. <laughs> I wanted to see uh, what differences there were, if any. <clears throat> and I had actually picked a lovely picture out of this book here, see? <laughs> Where I had compared the uh, separate orange colors with the separate green colors and um, Instead of just continuing on this page, I'm just going to redo the video on this page because they've got smaller flowers, easier to do. Um, I think I'll have a little bit more fun. And hopefully it won't be an hour long. I didn't mean to make it an hour long. I mean, I expected to have kind of an hour video. Let me see if I got the flowers that I want to do in the thing. There we go. Whee! Okay. As long as we got them somewhat in the video. I think we'll be good. Anyway, hopefully everybody can see this today. I, I tried to, I'm trying the zoom in feature here um, to see if it uh, does me any good. But anyway, I had picked colors I normally don't use as far as like the oranges go uh, because I just wanted to do something different. But since I'm apparently a klutz and I know how to delete videos better and faster than anyone on the face of the planet, I'm going to go ahead and go with colors I love. So, on it. <laughs> but we, um, a couple of things before we get started here. Um, I have noticed between the two sets when I was doing the last video, um, when I was getting ready for it actually, I noticed that not all the color numbers or all the colors with the same names are the same colors. Um, I did pick, again, a running set of all the same name colors. I think I'll do the experiments with them though before we start coloring. We'll do mint green. Actually, we'll just put mint green away because it's kind of kind of low. Same thing with mauve. Let's pick out a couple colors here. Let's do corn flower blue, viridian, and purple lake deep of each set. And that's the soft touch set. This mint, which is considerably longer. <laughs> you can go back. This mauve, which is considerably longer. You can go back. All right, so we did Purple Lake Deep versus Purple Lake Deep, Cornflower Blue versus Cornflower Blue, and Viridian versus Viridian. Okay. One of the things I noticed was that both sets of pencils are very comparable as far as breakages and um, lay down and all that stuff. They're very, very comparable. Um, what another thing I noticed is that these guys they have exactly the same names cornfire blue um, they have exactly the same numbers 092 the gold's only difference um, so far visually is that it has a GP after the 92 standing for the the gold pencils and which Amazon does say that they are uh, oil based from my experience in the last video that I had just made I don't, I don't really think I would hold much stock in that. I'm not calling them liars, but I'm not saying I don't feel, I feel it's not true. This is an opinion, not a fact. It is simply an opinion. I want to make that crystal clear because I don't want anybody getting mad at me because they think the golds are better than the soft touch, which leads me to, to the reason we're doing this video today. Um, Pamela from Pamela's Passion for Pencils and I were discussing the uh, soft touch versus the golds. Um, the soft touch are actually on sale on Amazon right now and they are um, on sale for, let me get back up here. I scrolled way down. The uh, 120 colored pencils from the soft touch collection in the case, and that's with their own case and they are very good cases. I have a case. I just don't use it because I'm a drawer using kind of girl. I'm a weirdo. Anyway. <laughs> In the case on Amazon right now, they are going 
40% off at $47.99. So that means you get 120 pencils of exactly the same set I gave away um, a couple weeks ago. A week. A week ago. Two weeks ago. I'm not very good with time. Or words. <laughs> and the these are uh, now running for $47.99, normally $79.99. And then we have the Castle Arts Gold um, in the case for $74.99. And, and it's, it's, it states, made to exceed our flagship professional colored pencils, ultimate 120 color choice, named, numbered, and color families for picking the perfect shade. And the colors I had used... Like, uh, for example, one of the colors I used was Chinese orange from both sets. And the Chinese orange from the gold was considerably darker than the Chinese orange from the soft touch. Meaning you could use the Chinese orange and the gold as your dark value. And you could use the Chinese gold from the soft touch as your medium value. And then just go find you a light value somewhere. I want to see if that's the same with these other colors, too. We had actually tried several colors in the, uh, or I had actually tried several colors in that video when I was making it and um, Prussian green turned out to be one that was very close but anyway they both lay down the same they both or very very similar at least in a Joanna Bassford book they both lay the same or very similar they both put out lots and lots of crumbs neither one of them holds a better tip than the other and even on this cornflower blue here you could see that the one in the soft touch looks more purple. In fact, the one in the gold looks like it's, I didn't sharpen it right or something or it got dragged on something. But here's what I mean. So here's the soft touch one. And I mean, it's just gonna be instant pressure. I mean, we're really gonna dig in this paper. <laughs> and you see a nice dark bluish purple color and it wore down the, the point but it didn't break it. And that's in the soft touch. And gold is claiming they hold a better, excuse me, um, tip for longer. And here we go. With the gold corn flower blue. And similar thing. Didn't break, just smushed down like normal hard pressure people do. As you can see, there's plenty of crumbs on both. And hopefully you could tell in the video, like I could tell in person, that the cornflower blue from the gold set. Let's just do this. Gold. Soft. Never you mind my writing. <laughs> Is darker than the cornflower blue from the soft touch. Now, this is another one of those with the comparison that they're so close that you you could kind of theoretically on this one maybe use this as the dark value and this is the medium value. I wouldn't do it because they're just so close. But here we go with, let me, let me sharpen it. Apparently need to sharpen. The Viridian, the Viridians! 052 GP for the gold and 52 for the soft touch. Soft touch first. Guys, I'm, I'm really trying to break it. <laughs> and if anybody knows me personally, I got a heavy hand when I want to. But look at there, it just smushed it down. It did not break. And then the Viridian in the golds. Oh, well, this is an exciting new one. The, the Viridian in the golds, and again, it didn't break, is the lighter color. Well, check that out. Tickle me green. <laughs> lots of, as you've seen, though, lots and lots of, um, I lost the word. <laughs> Sometimes I can't words. But lots of shavings. Lots of, lots of mess. Anyway, both of them put out the same thing. And I could say, reflecting in the light, I don't know if you can see it, but reflecting in the light, I could see a bit of shine on this side and a bit of shine on this side. I mean, just very, very, very little shine in certain places. I don't know, you know, like that wax bloom everybody talks about. 
All right. Last colors will be the Purple Lake Deep. <clears throat> Please don't let me have <laughs> chose bad colors for this, guys. And that will be number 38 in the Soft Touch, 38 GP in the Golds. Here's the Soft Touch. Crumbs! I knew I'd think of the word sooner or later. And again, the tip's fine. It's just wore down for heavy pressure. And then here's the gold. Again, lots of crumbs. No broken tip. And they both went down, for me, exactly the same. But here's the thing. These are kind of close, too color wise. Let's get the mauves out. I'm really curious. I know these are short as all get up, but let's get them out. Or at least the soft touches mauve is very short. All right, let's do the soft touch. They'll, they'll both be 093 for the soft touch, 093 for, or 093 GP for the gold. I just had to do a light color. Lots of crumbs. The point is perfectly fine. Who's who? Okay, that's cold. Soft touch. <laughs> and then here we go with the gold. And again, it had no issues performing the task. Lots of crumbs, though. And it's slightly darker than the soft touch. Now these are kind of surprising. Here's the last one I did. Or maybe not. There it is. This was the Chinese orange. This was the... Ooh, buddy. Not permanent green. Prussian green. This was Naples yellow. Now this was gold soft touch. Soft touch gold. And then soft touch gold and then this green I'm gonna go leaf green light it was a leaf green light and this was the soft touch and the gold and I liked the leaf green light in the soft touch better than the gold I knew I'd remember eventually let's see what the what these other colors look like let's do the minty mint Thankfully, I got two sets of soft touch. All right, and it'll be soft touch mint 107. Just plop it down on there. These colors look all pretty together by themselves. <laughs> all right, soft touch is in here. Yeah. Okay. And then 107 GP for the mint green and the gold. Holy cow, that one's lighter too. Wow. Now these are surprising because the vast majority of the pencils in the gold that I used, they were a little bit darker or similar with one being a little bit lighter. And in this one, they're running more on the light side with one being on the dark side. The dark side, come to the dark side. All right, let's go ahead and try Thalo Turquoise. That one's already sharpened. Let's sharpen this one. All right, Thalo Turquoise will be 102, and this is the soft touch. Whee! See, once again, not breaking. You don't hear that snippy snap. Let's put the soft touches back before I forget who's who. <laughs> All right, and then Thalo Turquoise in the gold. Now that one flung the very tip across a little bit. You can see it. Hopefully you can see it down there. But it was just the very, very tip. And it's just smushed. But there you have it, guys. Lots of crumbs, both sets. They go down very similar. Um... There's a few differences in colors with the same names, but not enough to really, at least for the most part, not enough to really write, have to write home about. 
you know, in some cases you'll see where you can have like this as your medium value and that as your light value, and they're both the same named color, mint green. So, and then also in honor of Pamela for helping me come up with the idea for this video, she also has her very own video on the Jarlink sharpener, which is an electric sharpener. Um, no batteries, you just plug it in, let it charge when it tells you it's time to charge. Saves your hands! So, okay, so we'll do this flower in the soft touch and this in the gold. Let's see here, soft touch, gold. <laughs> and of course, in Joanna Basford's World of Flowers, uh, I know Pamela likes this book, so I thought, well, since she helped with the idea, we are going to use one of the books she likes, too. <laughs> Mint green, fallow turquoise, viridian, and then mauve, born flower blue, and purple lake deep. I probably should have got some yellows for the center, too, but instead of yellow centers, <laughs> okay. All right. And then let me double check, make sure I'm still in, in frame here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, well, so since I like to throw pencils, look at it, it didn't even break it. Since this stem is so, so thin, I'm just gonna completely do it in Viridian. Y'all, I finally got my first pair of real glasses, and what a difference it has made. I can see! But there you see some crumbs going on here. Where's my little brush? And if you need a little brush to wipe off your crumbs, go to the dollar store, man. I got this wet and wild one that's really wore out in several colors that seem to all mesh into pink. <laughs> it used to be like yellow hairs, but not anymore. I thought if you mushed the colors together, you got black or brown, but hey, I'll learn new stuff. Here we go. Keep these away from me a little bit so I don't accidentally fling them because that's what I'm good for. And I'm going to tell y'all from that last picture I did, despite having deleted the video, yes, me. <laughs> I love these pencils in Joanna's books. They are just amazing pencils. They go down so soft and so smooth. And I really enjoy using them. I'm going to finish that other picture eventually. I still have to do the mermaid from Hannah Lynn uh, to finish that color along. I know it's been weeks. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes it's just craziness. And I'm not going for anything spectacular, special, or any kind of tutorial stuff. Because one, I'm still in the learning stages. I've got a lot of growing to do. And two, I just want to use these pencils and have a fair review for you guys. Um, even though I love Castle Arts, they have never sent me anything free. Flawsy. I'm not big enough YouTuber for that. <laughs> I paid for both sets and the set I gave away out of my own money. Yay! When I had money. You know, back in the day, when I had money, before sick leave decided to tell me they had faxed the doctors the paperwork but never received it, so they're denying my claim. Must be nice to be sitting in a nice cozy office and making that decision, only to find out they never did send the fax. Way to go there. I'd name them out loud, but I don't have any money, so I certainly can't get a lawyer. <laughs> You know, meanwhile, my bills are not going to wait for me to get paid. But hey, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And one of the things I've been working on to help make some extra money is I want to open an Etsy store. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Um, so far, I've had nothing but uh, many curse words at trying to make my own um, swatch charts. Especially for odd stuff like stuff I don't normally see, like the, the QL C120 unicorn pencils 
and um, those of us who have a multitude of a ho ho a ho ho a ho hos a ho ho markers, um, both in bullet and chisel nib and brush nib brush and, and chisel nib, including the set that um, is the pastels. There is swatch charts out there for Ohuhu's line of the brush and the chisels, which is all well and good, and that includes their pastel colors. But the problem is, I have, you know, a little 48 set here, a little 48 set there, a little 48 set here and there, everywhere. Oh, I'm using the Karen Dash Pencil Blender. I also found out in the last video that I absolutely love using this thing in this in this hair book. In this hair book. Otherwise, I, don't, I hate it. <laughs> hate the darn darn thing. Alright, so let's get started here on the flower itself with the little mauve. Oh, wait. I want to go backwards. So we're doing purple ink deep first. And just having ourselves some fun. I should have labeled that. I have no idea. I know. I think it's on a video somewhere, but I have no idea what I colored it with or why I even colored just that one. <laughs> My brain. And please forgive the uh, fan in the background. Fans, plural, in one air conditioning window unit. It 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 is actually got a heat wave here in Ohio. Um, but in normal homes, it is not a heat wave to warrant a uh, central air, which does not do anything for my upstairs. A window unit and two fans. But this office slash craft, 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 craft room um, gets so hot. So hot! Things are running around again. Things are running away, guys. Watch out. And I'm just going to go ahead and color this whole guy in cornflower because I'm just going to do the center and the moth. I wish there was two of these. I might do the upper one instead of the lower one. Nah, I like the, I like the, the lower one better. See, I can't even make up my mind while I'm doing a video. <laughs> But hey, I wouldn't have had to do a second video if I hadn't figured out how to delete the first one, just for grins and giggles. Actually, the new phone that I'm using, um, which is on a payment plan, which I hope I can pay it next month. <laughs> <laughs> it has more limited space than my old phone does, so I might have to go back to my old phone and use it, even though this one's got way better picture quality and clarity. Like, a window unit needs two fans. Guys, I'm still sweating. Might be the menopause. <laughs> and then the mauve goes in the middle here. Just like that. Isn't that cute? That's precious. I love coloring flowers, too. And then, of course, at the end, I'm going to have to show you what I've been doing in that book that my son bought me. The pop uh, manga, manga, however you say it mermaids and other sea creatures. I've been doing a f um, kind of a follow along with Zucchini Kitty. Um, it's an older video she did probably about a year ago maybe? I don't know. I just found it and I was like this is the one I want to do because I really like that page anyway. And this is turning out really cute. And of course I really love purple. I wanted to use brighter colors, but no, I had to delete that video. Anyway, so how is everybody doing? Hopefully you alls is doing well. I'll learn to talk one of these days. <laughs> Until then, please be patient with me. I swear I went to schools. Went to ski schools. And then get this on over here. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Eraser because I see a couple spots where I went whoopsies outside the lines. Where's my brush? There it is. <laughs> I swear my videos would be shorter if I knew where I put everything. 
There we go. All right, and then it looks like we'll just be using Purple Lake Deep and Cornflower Blue here, which is fine. And it does go down really, really super smooth. That's real nice. It's easy lay down. Let me sharpen this one. They're really super soft. Very waxy, one might say. And they blend really good. There we go. And I'll just do the one layer here. And a little, a little shading there. What the hey? <laughs> And then I know like quite a few colors don't use um, blending tools. I do because one, I like it. It helps me get the white of the paper filled in. Let me turn it here so the purple don't get in the green. And it's a little bit quicker than just layer and layer and layer. Sometimes. Sometimes I can layer. I have to take frequent breaks though because I have really bad carpal tunnel. But here's the one with, don't you put your hands on that, <laughs> with the shaft, the shaft, the shaft, the soft touch. Now let's do our little bad boy that is going to be doing, going to be getting done with the golds. We have to lift it up a little bit here. There we go. I love doing these flyers. It's like a sense of accomplishment without having to color an entire page. Okay, mauve, cornflower blue, and purple like deep. And then we're gonna have mint green, phthalo turquoise, and viridian. All right. And then once again, kind of a thin stem, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this stem in one color there we go looking nice the long and short of it though on that last video I was doing I was letting y'all know that <clears throat> from using these both, there isn't one solid I would recommend over the other. Um, now, like right now, because the soft touch are on sale in the case for uh, just under $50. I would recommend that over the golds because who boy ya $47.99 had to go look it up again $47.99 and you get 120 of these pencils and they're regularly 70 bucks uh yeah if you have the money though my recommendation is wholeheartedly get both because what's neat is uh, uh, quite a few of these colors we found so far, even though they have the same name, they they could be drastically different. One is drastically darker than the other one, enough to be, it could be like the darker value, and then the one of the same name could be your lighter value, and you can you could you could really mix and match. I did mix and match in the other one, and they blend beautifully together. We won't worry about that in this video. We'll just keep this short and sweet. <clears throat> they, but they do mix and match really nicely because they're both extremely soft and this is why I wouldn't actually believe that the claim that their oil based pencils hold salt quote unquote is because I'm used to the polychromos and those are super hard. 
and I love using those in certain books and on certain PDF pages that I print out. This book would not be one I would use the um, polychromosin. I don't like it. They feel scratchy. They just feel weird. There we go. We can add a little bit of depth and dimension because Pamela likes depth and dimension. Woo woo! <laughs> but just a little bit. I'm still a newbie. I'm not that great at it. I still watch your videos sometimes on repeat. <laughs> That skin tutorial you did, Pamela. Oh my gosh. I made a beautiful picture uh, with that one. I wish I could rem remember the name of the artist, but it came out so pretty. I was just so, so happy. And we both like Zucchini Kitty, so I'm sure I'm pretty forgiven for doing a follow along with Zucchini, <laughs> Zucchini Kitty. <laughs> I am not trying to, even though I can see every last one of them, I am not trying to fill in all those little dots or make little purple dots. A few of them, yeah, sure. I'm not trying to be sitting here all night, though. <laughs> all right. There we go. We'll do a little bit down here. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And that's with the purple lake deep. Here we go with cornflower blue. Which in this set, I'm gonna kinda of regret having cornflower blue. <laughs> Cause it's almost as dark as the purple lake deep. Oopsies. That's all right, guys. Do you know how to fix that? Do you know how to fix that and make your other purple stand out? I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. Or at least that's my, my, my little secret here of how to fix that. It's called PC901 Indigo Blue. This is from my Sanford collection of the Prismacolors. And I am going to just kind of go over the purple lake with it. It's going to make it a little more blue, but it's going to make it stand out from the cornflower blue. It's a good thing that was sitting there. I happened to look over when I was like, oh no, these colors are too similar. <laughs> and it goes well with the cornflower blue too because cornflower blue is kind of like a darkish purple. There we go. Then let's use our mauve here. And see, it's making crumbs. And crumbs are usually indicative. Indicative. Indictive. They're vindictive! <laughs> indicative of the wax based pencils. Not always. I've had uh, polychromos leave crumbs every once in a while. Every once in a great while. Every once in a while. But anyway, these may for all intents and purposes be an oil based pencil. It's just maybe because they're cheaper than polychromos, they're softer. That could be it. All right, let's go back over that indigo blue with purple lake deep. And see, it kind of sticks out a little bit more. And I may have to do indigo one more time too after I go over with cornflower. And the nice thing, too, about doing these two little flowers is I don't have to worry about coming back later to finish a page. Nope, I think we'll be just fine with that two layers, or three layers total, two purple lake deep and one indigo. I think we'll be okay. I just, y'all, I did not expect this cornflower blue to be that dark. I did not, I did not pre-test them. I wanted to be... Just like with the last ones I was using to do a video with, I wanted it to be just as surprised as everybody else. Yeah! <laughs> Surprise is half the fun. And 
And as you can see, they do blend nicely. They really do have good color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. On some of the golds, I would say I like their colors better. But same can be said for the soft touch, like the mint green. I like the soft touch's mint green better. And you still are going to be doing sharpening to keep a, a nice sharp tip. Let's see something here. Since I have my, or had, there we go, have my favorite Castell Black. Let's just make that stand out a little bit. There we go. I didn't use my Prisma Black, but I have it over there in the pile with the picture I'm doing with a uh, Zucchini Kitties video. And y'all might not be able to tell the difference on the video between the Cornflower Blue and the Purple Lake Deep, but I can. Sometimes instead of a brush, I just blow on it and hope I don't spit. <laughs> anyway, there we got it there. The gold and the uh, soft touch. And let's try to turn them sideways here. Bring them a bit closer. Whoop, whoop. As you can see, they, they're very beautiful, both sets. You cannot go wrong with either set or getting both sets. You really can't go wrong. They both lay down very beautifully in these book, in this book, in the Joanna Basford books. This one's World of Flowers. They do both make crumbs. If crumbs are an issue for you, um, you might want to look at a more expensive oil-based pencil since Castle Arts is saying the golds are oil-based. Like I said, I don't, I don't really hold much stock in that just because they feel, to me, they feel the same as the soft touches. Um, they just look a little bit different. Some of them, even with the same name, will have, you know, different. Values. So this is purple. This is a pen that doesn't want to work. <laughs> purple Lake Deep. This is Viridian. That is wrong because this is Cornflower Blue. And then this is Purple Lake Deep. And then Mauve. And then, what's that color again? Mint green. Mint green. And then, Fallow Turquoise. There we go. Now that's it. Those are really lovely colors together. I did not mean to do that on purpose. I did not mean to do that at all. That was not purposeful. Let's see this one. Make sure I got it in the frame. I do not. Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's do this one with a mix. Let me get... This one's Cornflower Blue. But this one's Purple Lake Deep. And then we will use... This one's Mauve. So we're going to be... We're going to be... Gold, soft touch, soft touch. Okay. Let's see how they go together. Can't help it, guys. I gotta do it again. <laughs> Especially with such easy to do flowers. A little thing here. Little thing here. Little thing here. Little dots. Little dot. Little dot. Little dot. Dot. All right, then cornflower blue, which belongs to the soft touch. And 
then the mauve. And don't worry, I'll get to those other guys here in a minute. Now here the mauve and the corn volume blue are very similar since they're both from the gold set. But as you can see, the, the colors are going together really nicely. They're blending well. We'll go a little bit darker here. And of course they blend well with each other. And this little flower is just turning out pretty as I'll get up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mix it up here. Mix it up. Mix it up. <clears throat> Woo. So definitely in the comments below let me know if you've got one or both sets. And what do you think of them? Are you feeling spicy like Christine and going, yeah, they're about the same? Or do you have different experiences? Like, are to you the golds better? Or are the soft touch better? They might actually perform, I'm almost certain they would perform different in some other books. I am positive. All right, let's do some greens here. Let's do the Soft Touches Viridian. And we will do Fellow Turquoise. That is not the gold. Yeah, it is the gold. Okay, order. And then we will do Mint Green and Soft Touch. All right. I'm going to do the underneath in the fallow. So for that one. They can't all look the same. <laughs> Not as the stem anyway. bring out the stylo blue which is the gold one if anything I'd say the golds or maybe just a slight tad bit more buttery which is weird because that's to me that's a wax pencil trait not an oil pencil trait. I love these flowers. They're so peaceful and calming. Especially the leaves part. Very, very nice. But yeah, I would say maybe these are just a Tad more smooth than the Joanna Basford book. But as you can see, they they mix and match really great together. There was actually another dark color I had picked out, but only the soft touch had that color, and I wanted the colors to have all the same names. Even though it's quite clear they're not exactly the same colors. It's so nice to be able to see these little details again, at least more clearly than before. Whee! 
it turns out, I always thought I had the far away vision issue and only the far away vision issue. <laughs> but it turns out I have the up close issue too. It's not that bad, but they gave me some butt fuckles. So now I'm sitting there staring down at stuff with my nose. Like, hmm, I'm a snobby snob and that's okay. But there we go. And then that'll be combo after I write on myself. And then six, I have no idea, 15. <laughs> six, 15, six, 15, there we go. So I know what day I completed them and, and it'll remind me of the video. Or at least give me a timestamp of the video. Go back and get you one from June 6, 15. They blend really nicely, though, guys, together. And the Caran Dash Blender Pencil just helps pull them all together. And also, too, if you were kind of curious, this is a giant mouse pad, and I love it. And I'm so glad I got it. Um, but the material it's made from, when you got color on the bottom of your your blender pencil, just give it a few flicks, you get it right off. Might be some other tricks too, but I don't know those. I just know that one. <laughs> but hey, uh, let me put this up here real quick and I'll show you the picture I'm doing out of the mermaids and other sea creatures. And then we'll, uh, we'll end the video. And hopefully this one won't accidentally get deleted. <laughs> But anyway, um, and I'll link below to the the kind of color along that Zucchini Kitty is doing here. Well, color along, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I found it fascinating because even though I use most of these colors on a regular basis, and I hate white space, by the way, um, I thought it was neat how she put them all together. And I think mine's a little bit darker than hers. But either way, I think it's coming out really, really really cute and it was and I, I didn't have any but one of the same color distressed inks that she had and so this guy so far he's just in the beginning stages of being done and he's all in distressed inks isn't that flipping cool oh my gosh but yeah if you have this book mermaids and other sea creatures by Camilla de Erico, um you are going to want to check out her page and check out a that video that I'll link below because it is so cool how she combines these Prismacolor colors. Mine's probably not exactly like hers too because she uses some scholars, the neon colors and the scholars, and mine are all Prismacolor, either Premier or Sanford's. So anyway, there will be something else I'll be showing when I do another video on something before I was told I wasn't getting paid by sick leave, I bought a small thing. And I'm not going to regret it, by golly. But I'll, I'll do a video on it and show it, all, show it to y'all. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's especially, especially you, Pamela. I hope you enjoyed the video. And <laughs> give you a little idea. She doesn't have the golds. Um, or was it the soft touch? She doesn't have one and has the other. And... That was just really a super cool debate and just brought you know, along, it wasn't even a debate, a discussion. A super cool discussion on the castle arts in general and just how similar are they? Are they completely similar? Are they, you know, drastically different? And they're, they're, they're completely similar. They're, they're so similar to each other that the only thing I would... If you have the money, the only thing I would recommend if you have the money is get both sets because you're going to be able to interchange them even though they have the same color names. Some of them are going to have darker values and you can use them. It'd be, it's just kind of cool that you could just be like, hey, I'm going to grab this mint green and one's going to be my medium value and one's going to be my light value. Um, but otherwise, if you don't have the money, um, you only have money for one set, hit up that soft touch right now because it's on sale on Amazon. I will leave the link below in the video for that one too. 40% um, off is a heck of a deal. 
for the soft touches and you get the case and it's a very very nice case I I had both cases um, I ended up um, not using them for the castle arts anymore sorry I got really thirsty for the castle arts anymore because I use them in the drawers um, instead some of my many 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 gel pens are in the castle arts cases and they work great with the gel pens too uh, but hey, questions, comments, suggestions below. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful, colorific day and that this video actually gets through. Thanks, everyone. Bye.